Megapoints boards have a built-in network connection. In this example, with a four terminal block, the lower two blocks form the network on the green cables and the boards are connected together. This allows the Megapoints board to form a master-slave pair so that long fiddle yards or run-throughs can be switched at each end at the same time without additional cabling. On this example I'm using an extended servo cable connected to a servo socket, which is a feature of some of the later boards, connecting the two together in a master-slave pair. When you have a master-slave pair configured you need to tell the board that it is a master or a slave. If I switch on the bottom board you get a single yellow light flash which indicates that this is a master board. When I turn on the upper board the LEDs do a little dance. What's important here is that the LED flash tells us that the upper board is in fact configured as a slave. This means that as I operate switches on the lower unit, the upper board immediately responds and copies the movements. Programming features remain local to each board, so if you were to reverse a channel on the slave board, the master would remain normal and the two servos would operate out of phase. You're free to set independently the range of motion, the direction of motion, and the speed at which each operate. In this example, I'm going to vary the speed of the slave board. So if I operate channel one, they move together through the same distance and direction. What I'll do is reverse it, I'll press the programming button and I'll press the reverse button. Scoot through all 12 channels and you can see now that channel 1 has been reversed for the slave board. We can also change the speed. I'll move it fast on the slave. So now when we operate, they operate independently. Master slave pairing of Megapoints controllers was designed to allow a very simple connection of two units together for this purpose. All of the control signals for all 12 channels run through this single 3-core cable.